welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to be showing you guys some glimpses of my day and then a recipe at the end. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. So as you guys can see, it's sunny right now. The sun is shining, but I think after a little bit it's going to rain. So I'm just going to try to do some work around the house and then do a little bit of school with the boys. And so we'll just see how the day goes. Creed, what are you doing? Are you mashing all your eggs? Can I go? Yeah. Hey guys, so Creed was just mashing his eggs. I believe he must have been pretty full. Zayak has gotten into drinking out of a baby bottle. I don't know why. So like I said, today I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of work around the house. I washed up a big stack of dishes, fixed myself some ice water, and cleaned out the fridge. It's a good thing to get rid of all the old leftovers. And now I need to take the trash out. So today for school, well I took the boys flashcards and made like bingo cards and then they have to take their dot markers and dot the correct letter when I say them. And then next I took their consonant vowel consonant flashcards and made bingo sheets out of those and I mixed in a few sight words and down here at the bottom the boys had fun decorating the pages. It's a fun variety to do so it's not always the same old flashcards again and again. Okay. Hey Zeke, can you tell me what happened to your hand? I pinched my, my, my hand into the gate. Can I see? That hurt, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I had to put a band-aid on it. Yeah, we had to put an Angry Bird band-aid on it. Did that help it feel better? A little bit? Yeah. yeah. Mommy pinched her hand in the gate before and I know it can really hurt. Okay, Zadok, what did you make? I made the tomato flower of you. Yeah, Mom and Zay made a flower together. Pretty cool. I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, he was pretty proud of his flower you made with me. <laughs> then, after that, I ran out to market to get some veggies for supper. I think it looks like it's getting ready to rain. So this is what I got at market. Some bell peppers and cilantro, some tomatoes, and they automatically give some spring onion. In spite of the rain, I could still do laundry on the roof, but it wasn't long until the rain went away and the sun came out again. I then folded a pile of laundry and had a cute little helper. <laughs> I asked him if he's helping mommy and he nods yes. His hair is wet because he had just been playing in water. Alright and then next it's time to make supper and I'm going to show you guys this nacho bell pepper recipe and it's low carb and we think it's pretty good. So first you have to brown your meat, drain it, and then I sprinkle chili pepper and McCormick steak seasoning on it, a little bit of chicken broth. Preheat your oven to 350. I have an old gas stove so it takes a couple tries to light. Then slice your bell peppers 
And you want them in pretty big chunks, so they're kind of like chip size, so you can... So it's kind of like nachos. And then I make some salsa. You can also do store-bought salsa. For fresh salsa, I cut up some tomatoes, spring onion, and some fresh cilantro from the market. And I save some of the spring onion and cilantro for garnish. To the salsa, I add some pepper, garlic, salt, lime juice. You could use fresh limes also, and just a little bit of hot sauce. Mix it up and set aside. I also cut up one avocado. So what you'll need is your bell peppers cut up in fairly big chunks, so they're kind of like chips. Your meat, the salsa, cheese, avocado and cilantro, and salt and pepper for seasoning. I then mix the meat and the salsa together. I then put the bell peppers in my pan. You can also do like a cookie sheet. Put the meat mixture on top. And then I put the cheese on top. You could do shredded cheese, but this is what I had available to me. And it would also look pretty with white and yellow cheese, but I just had yellow. Stick that in the oven for about 10 minutes. And while it's in the oven, Creed helps me set the table. After about 10 minutes, I pull it out of the oven, the cheese is nice and melted, and sprinkle avocado and cilantro on top, and supper is ready. We have more avocados, chili peppers, and we also use yogurt for sour cream. Jalapenos would be good on there too. Then we're ready for supper, everybody comes. Yum, it looks delicious. He was so tired, he fell asleep at the supper table. Sweet little boy. Okay guys, so that's it for my day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Let me know if you make it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.